Um, it's actually a beautiful day here in Arizona. Soon, it's going to start raining for three. days uh sunday monday tuesday is what we're expecting rain so we're hurrying right now trying to get everything done before the rain hits but jim got home pretty late last night and so um it was too late for me to do a Five of the ones that came back so I'm here today to show you here we go so we got number 1904 here the little Appaloosa mare she's all safe and sound in here Good morning ladies what are you doing we got number 1906 uh old um i have to look it up but i thought she was bay but she looks almost black she's gorgeous i don't know and then we have um what's your number baby girl what's your number Number 1909, and she's a beautiful horsey that was walked in. So we, here are the girls right here. They're all in this huge pasture together. Oh, we got Jim over there fixing it because <laughs> somebody had a fight fight last night. But uh, hey, Jim, say hi to everybody. <laughs> um, but anyways, these are the girls. Hey, girls, what are you doing? Hi. I like, I got some treats. Would you like some? Would you like a treat? How about a treat? Would you like a treat? Hi, yeah. Oh, you're beautiful. You're a beautiful girl. Yep, you're a four-year-old. You need your feet done so bad. Wow. How about this baby girl over here? How about the Appaloosa mare over here? Would you like a treat? Would you like a treat? Yeah. Do you take treats? Do you take treats? No treats? Oh, you could take a treat. I know you can. What do you think? No? Okay. To the little white one. Hey, baby girl, would you like a treat? Look at what I got. Oh, yeah, I got a treat. Yeah. Oh, she's so pretty. She's a good little girl. Mm. Yeah, it's okay. Don't worry. It's okay. I got you. I got you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, good morning, um, Candace. I am just showing everybody the horses that came in yesterday. We got the Appaloosa mare. We got number 19. My uh, internet is not the perfect up here, so I'm going to uh, get out of here pretty soon. But the Appaloosa mare and the bay mare is here and safe. The white gelding, uh, mare, safe as well. Sorry, my internet is just horrible. Nothing I don't like at all to have to have internet that always goes out. You would think Verizon would at least have better service. <laughs> Good morning, Diane. So I'm going to take you down to another part of the facility where the other ones came in at last night. So bear with me, tractor's a little loud, but I am so sore from um, yesterday, standing up for all the um, chiropractic work that my muscles are going, no, you're not standing anymore today, you're walking. So <laughs> we are going to go into another part of the facility. So let's take a ride. Over here we've got, um, the bay mare and the gelding that was got the chiropractic work done yesterday. They're over there enjoying their break. Hold on, internet's still messing up. 
Let's go down here. We got enough um, signal down here, hopefully. I don't know. It's one of those days. We've got a little stud paint. Turn this off so you guys can hear me. We got the little stud paint. Um, that has a bad knee. It's okay, boy. It's okay. It's okay. See, he's got the bad knee. I don't know if you guys could see it. It's pretty bad. Oh, look at it. It's pretty infected. So it's on both knees, actually. Um, but the vet's going to be here tomorrow. So he's over here in his own stall. So we don't have to worry about anything plus he's a stud and he does he has had his uh his jewels there <laughs> so we are going to uh have him gelded tomorrow too the vet's coming tomorrow to fix his knee and to geld him at the same time so figured since we're going to have to drug him up to fix his knee and put him in a chute what's a better time to do that huh mister are you ready for that? He's like, no. <laughs> and he'll get his shots and he'll get his worming. And then he'll get a halter put on. And then uh, he'll be easier for us to be able to handle and get some handling on him so that he can find a new forever home. And I'll just walk you the rest of the way um, so you guys could see the other horses. We haven't had time to clean up yet this morning, so... Please forgive us, but Jim's been walking around <laughs> fixing fix his fences. Oh, gosh. You know how that is. When they first come in, they decide that they're going to have issues with each other. So they like to fight, and then Jim has to spend all the next day fixing fences. Hey, Warrior, want to say good morning to everybody? Warrior, Warrior, want to say good morning to everybody? Look at it. Come say hello. Come on. He's like, no, I got a friend standing over there. <laughs> and we'll walk over here and see the other ones that you already saw yesterday. Sarah will be over today to start feet. So it's feet day today. She has two more chiropractics to do as well. And then um, the vet will be here tomorrow. So we got some of the horses here. That you saw getting their work done yesterday. Let's go. Let's just go this way. Oh, you want to see the chickens? Hey, good morning, everybody. It's a sunny day out today, so they're like, yeah, it's time to get out. See the chickens. You guys ready for the big storm that's coming? You guys better get ready. <laughs> well, there's my beautiful roosters. Believe it or not, they get along with each other. Aren't they cute? <laughs> and then we've got, uh, I'll stop over here and let you see blessings before we go over to see all the unhandled ones that came in yesterday. Blessings, are you ready to get out today? I get to get out and play for a little bit. It's yeah, my blessings. It's my blessings. Good morning, blessings. Good morning, my love. What are you doing? What are you doing, Blessings? Oh. <laughs> yes, it's my boy. It's my boy. And there's Mama, Mary. Hi, Mary. How you doing, Mary? We're going to get out today. We're going to get out today. And then we'll... Here's a turkey. <laughs> Bubble gobble. Okay, let's... I'll take you a shortcut. This is my shortcut to my barn. This is my shed barn area that I keep all my supplements and all my stuff in. Oh, and by the way, all you Chewy and Amazoners, please, we are in desperate need of wormers, sand clear, MSM and glucosamine. I need that bad because we have a lot of horses we have to take care of right now and I am running short on all that. So I'll put a list up there. For you guys. Okay, so here's our unhandled horses. We have a new 
area here. And I'm going to show you something that's really great about it as well. So this is the buck skin that was picked up. Now, they all went through as babies. Wrong! These are not babies. That buckskin mare over there, she's pregnant. And like, really pregnant. <laughs> and her baby that's beside her is the bay. And I can't tell if it's a gelding or a mare yet. I haven't gotten that close. See the one that's looking at me right there with a snip on his face? That's her baby. So these two babies right here, the little buckskin and the sorrel, we are separating them today and going to put them in separate pens because mama's not too happy with these guys in there. So that's okay. We're going to separate them. Um, I can't separate the mom's, the buckskin's colt or filly, whatever it is yet, because of the fact that I don't have good enough panels to keep them in without freaking out because, you know, they're going to be separated. So, but I do have good enough panels for these two babies. They're not that bad. They're, they're a little scared, but they're not going to go through my panels. I don't think they respect the space. So let me see here. But that mama right there, she's pregnant, real pregnant. And so I wanted to show you this, this great area here. So this is our new uh, unhandled area. Okay, let me see if I can out zoom that out here. Uh, let's see, hold on. Zoom out, okay. So this, um, these panels connect, you open it up here, and it connects onto this, okay? And then from in here, we can run them all the way down into this area over here. And the gate opens up. And they're not quite done with it yet. They're going to finish it today. So, but I'll show you it to you right now. This gate opens up. This gate, this panel is going to swing this way. And then you run them right into the chute. Okay, so this is the chute. And then the vet gets to stand on this side in safety. Or she can sit, stand on this side in, sa in safety. Now, there's another way this chute runs for so perfect. So, if I have horses that are over in that other area, which... Sometimes they're hard to catch over there as well. We just open up this. Hold on. It's pretty loud. Okay, sorry. You open up this gate right here. See this gate right here? You open it up. And then you open this gate up. Like so. And this connects onto this. So we just run the horses from there into here, like this, I'll draw it for you, into here, into this area right here, which is a catch pin. And then it's easier to catch them, and then we can, that gate will open up, and then we'll put them into the chute. Now, for all these horses that are out here, and they're hard to catch, this opens up over here. We're getting a gate put on it later on today. This will swing wide open. And then we have an alleyway. We're not done building it yet. The alleyway that runs from there over into here into this chute, into this catch pen. And then this catch pen is where we can grab them, where it'll be easier to catch them, and then put them in the chute if we have to. So this is not done yet. I'm about 50 panels short. So when we get uh, enough uh, donations up to get the rest of the panels, it'll be complete. But in the meantime, just wanted to show you all the things that are going on with it. And also another way this shoot works too, is that if you are coming home with the horses, which we did yesterday, works out really great because Jim was able to back straight up 
this way to the catch pen. Or if they go out into the other section, he backs straight up this way. And the horses run down the alleyway into the other field. <laughs> so it's been a long time coming to have such a good setup like this. Um, still 50 panels short, like I said, before we can complete it. But that'll come in time. But for right now, it's pretty set up pretty, pretty good and pretty safe for um, the vet. Because it all has to do with the vet and Jim's and mine and... Ty and Sierra's and David's and Brandy's safety because we've had some really unhandled horses here and you know we don't want to get hurt <laughs> nobody wants to get hurt right and we don't want the horses to get hurt or upset so these Mustang panels come from Seven Peaks fencing in Mesa and we have um, an account with them underneath for the love of the hoof so if anybody um, wants to go ahead and donate a panel or two, you know what, that's great because a panel or two adds up to what I need. <laughs> and uh, they are actually not expensive for the quality that they have. These panels are $185 a piece right now. I think they're having a special on them. And um, that doesn't come with the hardware, though, though, but the hardware isn't that much more. But these panels... $185 a piece for a six foot Mustang panel. You go to a tractor supply and they're $185 for a little tiny four rail panel that they can bend in half like a, you know, an accordion. <laughs> so I think that if you guys are looking for panels, uh, your best bet is to go to Seven Peaks in Mesa. I know that uh, it might be a long drive for somebody, but Seven Peaks is also in Texas, so if you're watching me from out of Texas, and they also deliver, so if you want to c t talk to them about that as well. But here we are with our unhandled babies. They all are safe and sound now. Everybody is happy. We are going to separate and have the vet here tomorrow. It's going to be a really long day for the vet. I don't know I'm going if I'm going to do a live completely all day, but I am going to set up the camcorder and videotape it only because, um, it is going to be a long day and all hands on deck are going to be needed. David and Brandy are coming and I'll be here and the vet. And so we need to help her when it comes to all these horses. So I don't know if we'll be able to do a live completely the whole time. We'll start off and show you a little bit of them. And then when it comes to the ones that like need the surgeries um, and things like that, I'll probably just videotape it for you guys. It'll be, but you'll be able to see it. Don't worry. I'll have it on a YouTube link and you'll be able to see the whole, the whole event. It'll be quite interesting. Well, I'm off to get the rest of the stuff done today. I got clean up to do before Sierra comes. Um, and I probably won't be online again today. I do want to let you know that we are doing our fundraiser for Name Those Horses. And so I've got the first nine up that need to be nine, uh, named. And then the second half will go up tonight. And uh, all the donations go towards helping for the care for these horses. I need Sierra... Uh, she has equine chiropractic feet, the dentist is coming, the vet is coming, and the evaluations, and everything has to be uh, paid for. I, and um, I'd really like to pay my people that work so hard for me on time. I don't like to ask for anybody to, you know, wait for that. So it's uh, it's only good PR to be able to pay your people that work so hard for you on time. So I'm asking if you could possibly name a horse that will help with some of the funds. Well, thank you guys so very much for joining me. Have a terrific day and I will talk to you guys all tomorrow. Bye now.